Hello, everybody, Corey and Senor Bad Ben 55 here, back at it again with another diecast review. This time on Matt DiBenedetto's 2020 Ford Motorcraft, Ford Mustang for the Wood Brothers, Wood Brothers. <laughs> and finally, we have the series banner back here on the front of the diecast. Had to wait till May for them to update everything. This is finally, for the first time since about 2016, our diecast are accurate. Well, at least for the Fords and the Chevys since the Toyotas are still in the old aero package. So, let's kind of get into this review and start off with the front of the car. First thing is we have 21, got Mustang, got Wood Brothers, Ford Motorcraft, and now we have the NASCAR Cup Series logo, followed by the two Ford logos. Been a while since we've seen that. On the side of the car, we have NASCAR Cup Series, Lincoln Welders, NASCAR Race Car. Got Matt Benedetto's name, followed by what looks to be the American flag. It's hard to tell, it looks a little blurry. Got Ford, and got something right there. I, I cannot see that. Looks like you see the wood bros though. Got quick lane, tire, and auto center. Got Omnicraft, uh, safety clean, Lincoln welders, and whatever that says down there. And we got Menards. Got Motorcraft. Got the Ford license plate 21. Fordparts.com, DeBenedetto, Ford Motorcraft and the Wood Brothers 21 up here. Nothing special on this side. And yeah. <clears throat> As for the Cup Series banner, it is looking very good. Obviously you have the Cup Series logo, the two Ford logos, and they have the little black lines going down the window, which makes it look very good. And honestly, when I first saw this thing on Instagram, I thought this was a 124 scale diecast because those little brackets. As for this diecast itself, if you're a De Benedetto fan, I would definitely get it. If you're a fan of the Wood Brothers, I'd get it. Um, but if you have, you know, the Motorcraft car from last year, Paul Menard, you know, you're not a big fan of this scheme for some reason, then I would just wait until the Menard schemes come out later next month, I believe, in June. But yeah, overall, um, this is actually one of my favorite paint schemes, especially on that beautiful Mustang body. And let's get a side-by-side -side comparison with last year's. So here are the two diecasts. The one on the left is the 2020 car, and the one on the right is 2019. Uh, it's a Lionel Authentics. So first thing, obviously, you can see the banner. The differences between them. Also one thing I've noticed is on the front of the car um, on or where it says Motorcraft the 2020 version does not have the outline or at least not as thick of an outline as the 2019. Looking at both of them from the side and obviously you can see the Cup Series logo Paul Menard's obviously different and then back here you can see that Motorcraft is actually not on the side of the car anymore, but besides that, everything's pretty much identical, including, well, actually not including that logo up there. Let's look at the back of the car. You see, obviously, De Benedetto's name is on the back, where Menard's name would be. And you got new Fortech versus Motorcraft. And you can get a good idea of how the, or the difference between the banners and no banners. Unfortunately, the Authentics line will not be getting banners anytime soon. So if you want the new Cup Series banners, you're gonna have to order online. So, I think that's everything for this review. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comment section. And this is Court Hansen or Badman55, signing out.